Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. I've got a micro hydro turbine running in the creek and the electronics for this system are here under my house. So I have to climb through this little three foot by two foot entranceway to access everything and to check to see if everything's working. So I've actually picked up a 50 foot uh, Cat6 cable from Amazon and I'm going to be connecting it to the Midnight Solar Classic 200 and running it up to the router of the house so I can use the Wi-Fi with my phone or computer and see if everything's working right and also do some logs. So let's go ahead and get the internet set up here on my hydro system. I went ahead and turned off the turbine for this install just for the fun of it but I'm also going to flip the breaker here so that there is no power coming in from outside. And then down here, I've got this switch that kills the batteries to the Midnight Classic. So, got that turned off. So now I can unscrew this and access that ethernet port that is inside here. What's the chances of me dropping one of these screws? Pretty good, I'd say. Just loosening up the four screws that are on the outside of the box here. Whew, almost dropped one. Okay, now I can pull this front cover off and then the uh, ethernet port is right here on the bottom. So I'm actually not gonna unplug the, uh, actually I can unplug this to get my cable ah, done. Just unplug that front display and then I'm gonna take this 50 foot Ethernet cable here. And that should just plug up right here. Actually, I gotta remember to go through over here and then up. There we go. That should be just fine. Get this cover back on. The Wi-Fi router is in my office, which follows this cable here. So I'm just going to follow along with this new Cat6 cable and uh, bring it over in here because this goes straight up my floor into the office space. Yeah, it's kind of cramped quarters, so I'll meet you when we get right over there. Okay, almost there. All right, yeah, okay. So. I know it's terrible lighting for you, but right up here is where this goes into the house. So I may have to drill another small hole next to it from upstairs and get this uh, new uh, Cat6 cable through there. I'm up here in my office now and you can see the internet cable comes through right here. So I'm just going to scoot over a half inch or so and drill another hole right there. And I've got a Fortzner bit here that should be big enough for that cable. Uh, let's just make sure here up against one of these. Oh yeah, plenty big enough. So that will go there and then I will sneak a piece of wire down there so we can pull that up. All right, I know it's super hard to see but I've got some tape around this Cat5. I'm just going to be pulling that back up into the hole with this uh, piece of wire. Okay, hopefully this pulls up without getting snagged. No luck so far. Oh. I think we got some insulation down there. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. We lost it. Okay. Let me see if I can find a way to get this back down there without getting into that insulation too bad. I think I did a better job this time. Let's find out. There we go, nice. Okay, from there, I'm just going to plug this into the back of the router and we should be good to go up here. Now that I have the Cat6 cable run, it's time to get this thing on again. I'll go ahead and turn the batteries back on to the Midnight Solar Classic. Let that do its uh, startup procedure here. Okay, that's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the breaker back on. Yeah. 
and it's got 177 volts coming in it'll start pulling those watts up and we'll get to going here so in order to get the internet set up I'm gonna hit main menu and then I'm gonna move over until it says net right here hopefully you can see that here we go push enter I'm gonna push up once to DHCP click on that that should be good to go there 187 watts now that I have the internet working on the Midnight Solar Classic 200, let me show you the app on my phone and also on the computer that will read the uh, internet and allow me to look at all the numbers. So here on my phone, hopefully it will show up well enough for you. Uh, let's see, so this is the Classic Monitor. It's not actually by Midnight Solar, but it does work really well. So you can see currently the unit is making 200 watts input volts 80 volts uh, 2.2 amps and then the batteries are currently at 62.5 now i'm going to be installing a whizbang junior later which will allow me to get a more uh more of this information like right now this right here is inaccurate because nothing is reading the battery and let's see current uh three amps currently uh, but anyway uh so this is uh, 173 kilowatt hours have been produced so far and uh, so this is today's is 2.5 kilowatt hours one of my favorite things is this right here so for instance today is the 23rd and so like 4.8 kilowatt hours um, let's see it was off for a little while here on the 5th and you can see that it only used or only produced 0.9 kilowatt hours. But so that's pretty cool. This app right here is really handy, and more of this data will show up whenever I have the Whizbang Junior installed, especially uh, this right here, where I can see the state of the battery. I forgot to film the outro to this video, so I'm coming back about a month later. I have used the internet with the Micro Hydro system so many times. I wake up, have my breakfast, turn on the app, and say, yep, we're making 200 watts. So, very handy to have. Now, later on, I'm going to be installing a Whizbang Junior, which is something that Midnight Solar makes, and it allows you to see the total watts coming in and going out of the system. Basically, let's say your system is making 200 watts, but you're using uh, 400, then it'll say negative 200 watts, and as soon as that load turns off, you'll see it swap back over to the other side so it's uh very nice to have just show some different information thanks for watching if you need to hook up your internet to the midnight solar i definitely recommend it because you can see a lot of information from the house and not have to check your system all right i'll see you in the next video bye